Well, do you guys wear contacts? Does anyone else here besides myself wear contacts? They're so hard to put in. I've lost two eyes because of that. I can't do it. Well, so today we're talking about Alcon, which is the $46 billion eye care product provider with only 444 followers on stock twits. You could make the case that this is a household name because one in six Americans wear contacts. So that's approximately 45 million people. I myself have been a consumer for more than half of my life. And the stock gapped up roughly 10% following its May earnings report. And since then has just been consolidating and slowly inching higher. Today, it's actually working on its second consecutive inside day. We'll see if these lows hold, but then we can go ahead and zoom out to the weekly chart, which I believe is the next chart there. And this area in which we're flagging right at these highs lines up perfectly with the former all-time highs dating back to Q4 of 2021. So really, as long as this thing is above the $90 to $87 mark, it looks like the path of least resistance is higher. You have a lot of things working in this. I'm looking at the company, been following since we brought it up. You got the breakout. You have aging America. You have more screen time. You have vanity so this, there are many trends in play. You have Facebook buying 5% of Luxottica. The company's probably in play from one of the tech companies at this point. What I want to know, Riley, because I love these new highs and I love the trends with no friends. I would love the Alcon followers relative to all European ADRs, right? Because it's a Swiss company, right? So I would love to see those ratios. Take all the European ADRs, get the follow, get the average followers, and then do like Alcon relative to that number. Right. This is a top 10 component in the iShare Switzerland ETF, by the way. It is in the Switzerland ETF. This can be considered a tech company too, 1945. So rather, when did this show up on the screen just recently? No, I mean, this popped up following its May earnings report, May 13th. And so I think the other interesting note is since that earnings report, there's been 18 posts on stock twits. Even with the low follower count, the stream itself is very inactive. And the users are daily users. I mean, they're similar to a drug cartel. Like if you wear contacts, you have to buy Alcon products. Catalyst could just be technology applied and AI applied. And why can't this just be a stock that keeps going up? Like, you know, it can, but it, it hasn't been that over time. It's been a great company, obviously 45 billion. But again, when the market is so good and there's so many stocks hitting one year highs, you can't own everything, otherwise own an index. So it's just relatively, what are you dropping out of your portfolio to buy this? But yes, this is why I'm more interested in the equity market sometimes than private markets right now, because there's just so many of these that provide liquidity, that can probably get you your 10% a year quietly, but if a catalyst emerges, and that catalyst is probably something related to tech, uh, this could be, um, this could easily be a double, but I'll have to go check some of the metrics.